it's a it's a good thing. Listen, AI cannot write itself. Machine learning cannot write itself. That's where it'd be kind of scary if it could. It can't. All machines are programmed. Now, can somebody do bad things with it? Absolutely. We already have what they call smart bombs. They can fly to the air and run down the chimney and kill everybody in the building. That's technology. It's, it's horrible, but it's facts. You could do good, you could do bad. But the thing is, look, it'll be regulated. Will there be bad people trying to do things? Yeah, there is now. We made knives so we could cut steak. Some people decided to cut people with it. But that's not what the design was for. You see what I mean? You can do bad with everything. Well, he's getting a much. She is like all over me. Anyway, but so think of that anyway. It's not, it, yes, bad things can happen, but it's there. It will enhance. Uh, it will be regulated so people don't go crazy and do stupid things. I mean, there's always people wanting to go out and do something evil, okay? But goodness always wins, okay? In the long run, it wins. So don't don't get all panicked over that. In fact, the last thing I heard, it'll create like 25 million jobs or some crazy thing. And as you can see, Dallas is trying to sneak up here the back way. Because mommy's in the other room. So now she loves me. Otherwise, she could care less. Um, what else? I have an idea today, Marty. What's up? I want to say a couple things real quick, but... How about we do a little Q&A today? Because we that's how we were going to do on Saturdays. Yeah, I don't care. If anybody's got any questions that we can answer, and don't ask me something I mean like we don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we'll, we'll attempt to answer anything what? you have. But you got to put a Q in front of it, question, and then put what the question is. But what's going to happen is so many people are saying hello and hello and hello. You know, take the time, put a Q up there, and then ask a question. We'll try to answer it. Chris, you got to try to help me find them. Yeah, I, I have one that in my head, but before I go to it, let me say one thing. I want you to remind all of you something very important. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Why did Ash Mafara decide to do Unpassive? What was his reason? His main reason was people were getting screwed over. A bottom line. People were being taken advantage of. And how do I know this? Because he told us this. He told us that he was part of something that he did not want to be a part of. And that's why a passive, at that time, didn't have a name, came along. He was sick and tired of seeing people get bowled over, rolled over, and he wanted to change that. And if people would just think just about that, uh, <laughs> even, even the uh, what I call the evil people that don't care for Ash Mafara, if they just thought about that for five seconds, they just might change their mind. I doubt it, but that's the reason he did on passive because he's seen where it was going. He's seen now one or two individuals took full advantage of it's almost like here, I'll put it in a, a sick way. When you when one of your family members die and you go to a the cemetery to buy the coffin, and man, they they try to get you for everything for that coffee. Okay, you want waterproof. You got to have the sealant. Oh, you got to have this special. And they're taking advantage, even though that's their job. And that's the only way I can really say it. This is what people did for years on the internet when it first came out. Because it was extremely smart people that said, we can make a lot of money off the world by saying something and doing something else. And Ashma Fire seen that, and it really disgusted him. He didn't want to be part of it. So don't don't forget that part uh, of that. And that's all I really wanted to say. And the first question I saw is, um, I think it was, what kind of AI does not passive have? Oh, wow. I mean, well, we know for a fact they talked about one of the ads that are running in the mall in uh, Dubai or UAE that it reads people as they walk up. Okay, so in other words, you walk up and you're a middle-aged guy and you got two kids with you, a certain ad might come up to that person. Or you walk up, you're 35 years old, you got a briefcase in your hand, another ad might come up. That's AI working, okay? AI is, 
<coughs> adjusting what it sees. Um, but everything in AI, AI is machine learning also, okay? So when you, when you do, like for me, when I did marketing, I would have to go out and manually test things, A, B testing, does this work, does this work? AI will be on the run. It will know, it will read, add one here. Three people clicked on it, four people clicked on it, clicked on it, five o'clock, this one clicked it too. Mainly females in this state, mainly this, and it'll read all that. It'll make an it'll make it'll do an analysis of it and then adjust for it. That's AI. That kind of stuff's happening now. Okay, that kind of stuff is gonna be inside all of the products that we have. Okay, AI will be involved. So it, it t listen, when you go in on passive, it's very high technology, but it's gonna be very user friendly. That's AI. Taking something complicated and making it easier has to do with artificial intelligence. All of that. Machine learning, it all it all intertwines together. Okay, you can look up AI and then actually link it to everything that's going on in Unpath. Yeah, that's what I was gonna suggest. Look it up and say what kind of what if you I used to do this. If you look up what kind of different AIs and the names are, they'll show you five or six names of AI and you'll be able to place it with, I used to remember, I apologize, my, my mind's blank for that answer, but Marty's saying it right. Yeah, that, that's what, that, that's all it is. There's a lot of different stuff in AI and on passive. They, they uh, infuse it in everything and it'll get more and more and more and more, okay? To make things simple. Uh, data, like data is a big deal to to market, like if you're going to market, you have to get information fed back to you. That information can be fed back to a human and they got to try to store it, try to remember where it's at. AI can store it, grab it, use it and pick it up anytime they want. I mean, in, from anywhere, like within milliseconds. It's pretty cool. Like even uh, machine learning, like the, uh, the bots. Now you get into a bot and you ask it a question. Okay, a bot starts off in kindergarten. But the longer you use it and the more questions you use, you ask it, the smarter it gets. It's, it's machine learning. It's learning how to answer the question the next time. That's why at the end of a bot, it will ask you, did this satisfy you? Does this answer your question? Yes or no. It, it wants to learn so that the next time, that's why when you use a bot and you go maybe six months, they're really nice because they, they, they've had thousands of questions asked. And they've answered many of them. So, and that's getting the technology on that's going through the rope. So, that's pretty cool too. Question: okay. Do I have to notify prospects that I'm sending them an invite? Uh, yeah. Listen, if you, if you're gonna send, if you're if you're talking to somebody, and you know them, you say I'm gonna send you something. You don't have to do it. But if you have a list of people and they really don't know you, I would be careful. Then you want to send a thing saying, in fact, if you go look in the back, you can set up to where it, it actually asks them, look, uh, Marty DeGarma wants to send you this. Do you agree? And they say yes, then it'll go. That's so you don't get in trouble for spam. But I don't send anything to somebody I don't know, or they don't. at least they know it's coming. <laughs> that's the best way to do it because if you do it the other way most of the time if they don't know you they're going to say no nobody wants spam nobody wants it's hard enough to get people to open an email as it is emails open rate is like 20 percent. it's like really small that's why texting is so much better if you know somebody if you know somebody then do it like we talked the other night about sending somebody the website one of the websites that you have, one of my links. It's a lot of information to send people. What what you should do is try to talk to them or send them something short, just about maybe Onet or uh, Omail. You know, grab a video that's just about that. And then say, are you interested? Yeah, then send them your registration link. Don't try to give them too much. People get too much. They They don't, they don't know how to... AI is embedded in almost every product and on passive. Colin just said it. Yeah, it's embedded. It's part of the products. 
Okay. Um, Marty, check for SS. <laughs> VLO vlogs is spamming in there. I, I oh there he is. For Apple. Okay. Well, he just, yeah. Listen, let's answer that right now. I had a few people say in there, is it possible that we will have our pendings lifted and withdrawals for March? Um, Marty's yes. gonna give that answer. Yes, it's possible. Yeah. Remember, we can't uh, give obviously it's price. Yeah, obviously it's possible. Listen, here's what I want to say. I'm I'm glad somebody said that. Yes. Keep in mind, I want to tell everybody this one more time. When they give us an extension, remember this. When they when the company gives an extension, they're losing money. They would much rather money coming in and money going out. That's business. That's what they're working to get. They want to pay us flat out. But they don't want to put a band-aid on it. They don't want to come in, pay X amount of people, and then four weeks later, you got triple that. Why? New products come out. It's more money, more commissions, more bonuses. They have to build a bridge or have something that is either strong temporary so that when it's permanent, one day we'll have everything enclosed. We know this will be our own everything. Then it won't matter. But yes, they want to get to that yesterday. They want to be there September 1st. They wanted to be there. But the merchant dropped the ball. Guy, everybody, listen, this is fact. Every time they put a pause and they give us an extension, it's not trying to satisfy us. It's taking care of us while they're getting this bottleneck fixed. Trust me. Nobody, nobody wants to pay us as bad as we want to receive it. Mr. Mufaro wants to pay us. I'm not kidding. There's no joke on that. Every time he has to give in his extension, it costs the company buku money. Think about what we're asking. I want things to move ahead. Of course, they got products ready. So they can, once this thing goes... <coughs> You're going to see like domino of viral things happening. I, I believe that without a doubt. <clears throat> and do we know all the little details? No. We did hear a story from Ashley Fora a week ago last night. And if you didn't hear it, go listen to it. He told you what journey he took. And he took arrows and daggers and knives and guns and rockets and everything for the last five years but he kept moving and he feels that most of that isn't behind him now and the company's working on making some of these bottlenecks bigger around so they can handle the flow it's just the way it is it's not all about not everything is not in the control of unpassive qa a uh, q will on passive be it, well, on passive B, what uh, went by too fast? You're not watching, Chris. Thank I you. am watching, but you're talking like so. I can't, I can't hold them. Right, there's one. Ahead. There's one. Let me, let me. Before you start, let me throw a couple at you. One about domains. Do we have to have domains? Hold on. One was, and I really want you to uh, embrace <laughs> this one because the letter the lady wrote yesterday, we rethought some things and we have to be a little more uh, kind. Uh, how we answer some of these questions because see, yeah, sometimes we were we were a little abrupt. But yep. when do you think the release of Oak Connect is going to happen? Very good question, Marty. Go ahead. I know you like that one. I believe the release of the new Oak Connect is in a minute, any minute, any day. But I also think when that happens, when that happens, that starts the sequence of everything I just mentioned. That starts, okay, it's good. We can sell the new version. We're going to pay commissions. We're going to pay bonuses. We're going to bring money in. We're going to get, to get this ball rolling. And we're going to start zooming around this track of unpassing. That's what I believe 99.9%. So any any time. Okay, we don't know. I don't look, look, I don't know all the details, but I don't need to. I can read the tea leaves that that's where we're at. And when that, this happens, it's going to it's gonna zoom, zoom, zoom. I would say blow up if people get nervous over that. The answer. 
but right. it's, it's, it's going to be crazy good. Uh, Marty, I can't remember exactly the question. It was the beginning. You want to know, do we get domains? <clears throat> Touch on domains for two minutes. About right, here, Let me tell you about domains. Every account that you own. Now, remember, we were told we only need one. But every account is an individual account. When people talk, they always talk, well, what about this account? Each account is its own business. You have 10 of them, you have 10 businesses, the way I see it. Do you get it? Do you want a domain for each one? If you want to, <coughs> yes, you could get one for each one. But listen to me. Here's what I'm going to tell you that I'm doing. Yes, I have maybe, let's say I have 10 accounts. I don't think I have more than that. With the whole family, okay? 10 accounts. What I'm going to do is, I have one domain. You guys know what it is. It's uh, coolzone.ai. I've had it. I'm going to transfer it to um, I'm passive eventually, but right now that's what I have. Now, for me, I'm not going to have 10 domains. I don't want to run 10 domains. Do I have? I have other domains right now. I could switch them anytime I want. A domain is something you want to build that. That's That was what we want to call digital property. You know how your property where you live, you want the value to go up? Okay. The more you brand your domain, I'm passive be in banking. No, I'm passive, I'm passive won't be in banking. I'm passive. I believe one day we'll have their own uh, merchant account inside on passive. That's what I believe. I don't know when. Anyway, so domains. Yes, you can get one for each one. And you, what you're going to do is when it's ready, they're going to say, pick a domain. You're going to pick something. If it's available, say it's available. You're going to pay for that domain. And then you're off to the races. Okay, you're off to the races. That's your domain. Then you take your website that you want out of 500 of them and direct that website through that domain so that when people go to Marty.com or RobertTentillo.com, they're going to go to the website you tell us to go to every single time. What I'm doing is my 10 accounts, I'm going to divert whatever account I want to that one domain. So I keep the domain, but I... I tell it where I want it to go to. This website from account number one or this website account number two or this website account number three. But you don't need to do that. You can have a domain for each one. Can we have same domain name for 10 accounts? Yes, if you if you put it like on a rotator. Yes, you can. Where you're rotating between one and the other. All you got to do is 